In this video I'm going to show you how to do long division. The important thing to remember is that long or like division, or like any division, is the opposite of multiplication. And the sum that we're going to look at is 819 divided by 3, and that means that what we want to do is to divide 819 into 3 equal parts. So we set it up like this. 3 on the outside of the division symbol and 819 on the inside. Essentially what we're working out is um, multiples of 3. We're asking ourselves how many times does 3 go into each of these numbers and we're calculating the remainders. Now if you're not confident um, in your 3 times table or just need something to remind you it's not a bad idea to write down your 3 times table, or at least start to write it down. So once times 3 equals 3, 2 times 3 equals 6, 3 times 3 equals 9, 4 times 3 equals 12, and so on. I won't complete all of this, um, we can add to it later on. So the first question we need to ask is, how many times does 3 go into 8? Right, well we can see from our times table that it goes in between 2 and 3. But we're in this, um, we're only working out exactly. So we say 3 goes into 8 2 times, and 3 times 2 is 6. So we take, we're going to take the 6 away from the 8 to work out how much is left. 6 from 8 is 2, then the next step is to bring the next number down which is 1 and our question is how many times does 3 go into 21? Well if you're good at your 3 times table you'll know that 3 goes into 21 exactly 7 times but again we carry on writing the number of times 3 goes into 7, or we've written it up here, and then we've gone 3 7s are 21, so that we can take the 21 away from the other 21, and you'll see that's 0. And then we need to bring the next number down, which is 9, and we ask how many times does 3 go into 9? Well, 3 goes into 9 3 times, and again, we write three threes and nine under there and take it away just to check that there are no remainders. And that's the answer. 819 divided by 3 equals 273. And as I said at the start of the video, if you wanted to check that you'd got this right, you would just uh, work it back the other way and say, 200 and se does 273 times 3 equal 819. Well you can obviously work that out using long multiplication which I will show you in another video or just put that into your calculator to prove that you've got the answer correct.